Following the issuance of our ILS report for the second quarter, I wanted to highlight a few key features that we um, presented in the report. The first is that following the record issuance in Q1, uh, issuance levels were strong in Q2, although not at the same level of, of a year ago. Um, for the first half of the year, we're still seeing very solid issuance and I think positive trends going into Q3 and Q4. We expect, expect to end the year at, at a very respectable amount issued into the marketplace, despite some um, challenging uh, headwinds in the market in terms of pricing uh, and comparative uh, pricing between different parts of the market, that being traditional and, and ILS. In the report, we highlight a couple of, of transactions that have been done and would like to, to really point out that the we've seen the first European earthquake transaction brought to market on an indemnity basis. It's positive to see the indemnity triggers being rolled out into the marketplace on perils that have not been um, brought out before. We highlight uh, the fact that uh, with the LIFE transaction being brought to market in, in the quarter by AXA, uh, the issuance level for life and health transactions is at a high since 2007. Again, very positive for bringing out diversifying perils into the marketplace. And lastly, we highlight the performance of the whole sector. And again, despite sort of more challenging pricing comparisons, um, compared to other benchmark indices, uh, the performance was actually quite strong and, and very positive for the development of the alternative asset class and interest among um, larger pension and institutional type of investors.